My lovesick idiot of a brother has misled you. Oh, start from the start, mate. Recently, our trade introduced us to a formidable woman. Jing Lang, a pirate from the farther seas of the Orient. Intriguing. She and Vance quickly became inseparable. Any reason he should have thought your men were spies? Well, there is the treasure. Oh? A pirate sold us a map. We each kept half. Come, I will meet him now. If you follow with discretion, you may hear it for yourself. Follow me at a distance. If anyone sees you, tell them you are my bodyguard. There are thieves about who would stop at nothing to secure either half of the map. I didn't... Suits your being split as you let him speak. Good, Good day, my brother. Good day, brother. If I may still call you that. Why? What else would you call me? Stranger, perhaps? I barely know you anymore. And if the whispers around town are to be believed, you would have me gone and done away with. Upton, come. You know better than to give in to gossip. Ness always too my small. Dear fellow, Local Can tongues turn sentiment? everything to sentimental comedy. It's domestic tragedy I'm trying to avoid. Well said, brother. No stronger bonds than family, except business. Goodness knows we have more than enough of that between us as well. That is true, brother. That is very true. And what a business it is. I'm sure neither of us would ever do anything to upset the balance of things. Quite. Quite. Now, tell me. You brought it. It? My half of the map, you mean? The map. The map. Of course, the map. The map to the treasure. To our legacy. That very one. I have mine. Where is yours? Vance, you know I feel we must protect that treasure with utmost caution. On the contrary. That map is our protection. Its treasure, our freedom. All the more reason to keep it buried. Safely. But have you no imagination? Can you not imagine the luxurious life that awaits us once we unearth its bounty? I really don't think that... But Travers' estate and plantations. No more smuggling. No more organizing men. No shipments. No risk. Why not begin now? Advance. Are you sure your future will unfold so easily? What do you mean? What? what are you implying? I am not implying. I am merely asking. Do you really imagine Jim as the lady of the house? Mistress of servants, brood mother. Or should I not imagine it? Would you question her love, her fitness? Of course not. But knowing her as you do, you must appreciate that she is a woman of action. She needs the sea, challenge. How will she adapt to acquire domestic life? Jing is none of your concern. Vance, do you intend to marry her? Of course. As if I'd ever had anything but this. What did I ever do to deserve this? It pains me to tell you, but I do not believe she will consent to it. Oh? And what gives you such insight into her heart? In addition to her nature, I simply do not believe she is exactly what she says she is. You're jealous. Jealous? No. I... Yes! I only worry for your safety, brother. You always had to be the favored child, the golden boy. You can't stand it that she would give her art to me, but she can't even give you a second glance. So you hate her. I have no hate. Only concern. I'll tell you this. I will marry her. I will kill you if I must. I will have your half of the map. And then the world will see which brother has more honor. I'll bid you good day. My love. Hey, stop this now, you damn gomino. You have the map? Not yet. Not yet. What am I to tell my order? 
You know we can't leave until I have it. I'm taking care of it. Give me time. More time? Your loyalty makes you soft. I think you're not man enough to see it through. My flower, it is all but done. I've hired a man. In moments, Upton's life will be over, and the map will be ours. You hired a man? In your scriptures, did Cain hire a man? No, Cain was a man. Come to the field, he said to Abel, and he did it himself. He did not require a third man to carry the axe. He did not have so many witnesses as we do in there, Saul. Trust me, he's doing it now. Right this moment? Nothing could save him now. Bear that out, yeah. <clears throat> Edward? I believe I just saved your life, mate. Pence. He said he would kill me. I thought it was bluster. He is my brother. Despite what you told me, I thought it meant something. You're safe for now. But perhaps a trip away from Nassau would do you some good. <laughs> 